Daniel Beer. So good morning, Daniel. Thanks for, for joining us this morning. Daniel, well, the first thing I do want to touch on is, is you as a producer. You actually did some monster production. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard the numbers in the $215 million range in your production for 2018. Is that about right? Yes, uh, 2018, we did $215 million of closed volume. That was 303 home sales, um, all here in San Diego County. Talk about before EXP. You know, you've been uh, in the real estate business for how long now? So I've been in the business for 14 years. Um, I think I'm about to start my 15th, and here in June will be the beginning of my 15th year. And before EXP, you asked, I, I was at Keller Williams. Um, I was very happy. I was enjoying what I was doing there. I was enjoying the atmosphere. But something started to hit me, which was in my second year with Keller Williams, I had the lowest growth year I've ever had. And that's not, you know, it, it, I just started to explore why is that? And I've always been connected to how have I grown my business? And I know I've always grown my business based on the relationships that I have and the people I'm interacting with and the people that I'm, you know, having the ability to learn from that hopefully have already done what I've done, you know, what I want to do. And, um, you know, what happened was I was part of, I was part of uh, Gary Keller's mastermind group. And really, I kind of replaced a lot of the learning environments that I had positioned myself into. I replaced it with that group because I, I was very excited to be a part of the group. And, there, and it was very cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, spending a day with Gary every six months or so was, was awesome. But the sharing that was taking place in that mastermind group, I started to realize how surface level it was and how, how, how lacking in detail. And it wasn't really a mystery. I actually don't blame them that, for that at all. The reality was what started to come into focus is that everybody in the room was a competitor to one another. Nobody was sharing in their finances. No one owned anything together. No one, no one would make money if Dan Beer made money except for Dan Beer. And so when you have an environment like that, especially with people expanding into each other's markets, you start getting a lot of, a lot of good sharing on mindset and like kind of, you know, you know, 10,000 foot view issues, but not very much detail on how to execute a strategy or a tactic to go take a listing today. And my growth was, you know, it was literally my lowest growth year. And I don't want to say ever because, you know, including like my first, second, third year in business, but it had been my lowest growth year in a long, long time, in many, many, many years, at least in a good half decade. I made the jump over here, Sam, we can go more into it. And this is part of the conversation, frankly, this is an agent attraction, build your revenue share, you know, conversation we're having. But this is part of what I talk about with people is I was connected to how I had grown my real estate business. That's what mattered most to me. And then I realized how open and detailed and specific the sharing and collaboration would be in this environment because if people were sharing things with me before they were making money with me, what would the sharing be like when they were, when they were making money? And I figured that would be the most open sharing environment, most detailed, most specific that I'd ever run into. The result was, I'll kick the mic back to you, Sam. The result was that we grew by 50 something million dollars in my first year with EXP because I was back into a learning rich environment where people actually cared if I executed the strategy because it also impacted their finances. That's right. No, that, 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 that's huge to hear. And, and just before EXP, you were actually considering or, or in process of purchasing your own market center. Is that correct? Yeah, well, I was in the process of, of uh, purchasing the market center. I was, was going to be buying 40% of uh, uh, 40 of the market center. It was about 160 licenses, which had actually done a deal in the last 12 months. I was going to pay 140 grand for that. And I was going to be geographically restricted to a certain area within San Diego a few neighborhoods because there's nine other market centers owned by nine other owners, right? They're all franchises. They're actually all independent brokerages who basically license a name. And that still seemed cool. I was in the process of doing it. It was while I was negotiating that deal that the, um, my sponsor, Curtis Johnson, well, he became my sponsor. 
I saw him jump over to EXP and I knew several other top agents around the country that had done it. But I just really connected with Curtis and I immediately called him. I remember I was in Deer Valley. I called him and just said, Curtis, what are you doing, man? You just did this now too. And, you know, I'm in the process of buying a market center. What do I need to know? He's the first person, and this is the biggest message I want you to take from here. He's the first person that didn't just share, tell me about revenue share. He's the first person that didn't just tell me about stock. He's the first person that explained and had me see the vision of how all uh, of how agents connected to one another, and especially, I mean, you have some of the best agents in the country coming all over and how them connected to one another, providing value for, for everybody else, essentially creating a training um, growth mentoring masterminding platform that we don't have to charge anyone money for because EXP pays us how special that would be. And most importantly, how that would impact my sales business. That's when I got it. That's stood that Sam. First of all, well, when you understand that, plus the fact that you rip away the regional owners, you rip away the franchises, you rip away the, you know, the, the investors in every franchise or market center, and you pull all that out and yourself to the top as an owner, and the fact that there's no territories to buy, but rather we all get to take territory based on being, uh, on being here now, being on the side of momentum, and being on a model that provides financial alignment for agents. When I understood all of this, suddenly the, the 160 geographically restricted licenses looked like a very small opportunity, and this looked like a much bigger one. And let's tie back to revenue share, because I you just heard me say, stop talking about revenue share. Here's the point. For a year, people were sharing with me, hey, come get rich, come get revenue share, come get stock, come get this. I didn't come. I didn't come until I understood how it would impact my sales business. I didn't come until I understood how it connects people. And yet, what mistake did I make when I first came to EXP? Come get revenue share. Come get rich. Come get this. No one cares. Guys, nobody cares. What they care about is give them an environment to go from 20 deals to 40. The revenue share, I'll tell somebody straight up, let's have this conversation about EXP, assuming you're never going to see a penny of revenue share. And then I'll say, look, you will. I just don't know how much. But here's what I do know. Here's what I know is going on in EXP world every day from a learning standpoint. Here's what I know is going on in terms of who's connected into this platform and how much value you're going to get because of the financial alignment that's created. And here's how I know that's going to impact your sales business because it's exactly how mine grew. And so revenue share is the most important thing in the world to you, even if you never see a dime of it. Literally, if you never see a penny of revenue share, it's still the most important thing in the world to you because it's the glue, it's the engine that makes all the sharing happen. So if we get you, if we give you an environment, and by the way, agent, because I'll always be real with them, you're going to be in charge of actually implementing what you learn. I can't do that for you. But if we get you into an environment where you can go from 20 deals to 40 because of the sharing and revenue share is the reason the sharing exists, then aren't you actually collecting revenue share? through your increased like commission income, even if you're not seeing, a, even if you're not directly seeing it as revenue share. And again, folks, that's not to say they're not going to see revenue share. We all do when we put any kind of consistent effort into it and we can get into a more tactical conversation in a moment. But that is what's special about this company. Okay. Sharing, sharing screenshots with people doesn't do anything until they understand how they're going to actually be, how they're, real estate business will be impacted. That's what most people want to understand. When, when you first came over, you didn't come over by yourself, right? You ended up bringing a couple buddies along, right? Did everybody hear about the about EXP all at the same time? Um, and if not, did you start having those conversations with the others? And so how, what, what took place in order for you to actually make the move, not only for you and your team, but you actually ended up bringing over some other big producers as well as um, uh, big influencers here in the company pretty quickly. Well, the, yeah, the first thing I did once I, once I got done with my conversation with Curtis and I knew I was coming because it truly is a once you really understand it, once you understand you get to run your business, your brand, your company, and you get to simply broker through this brilliant structure. But 
once you understand that, like there's no going back, right? You're not going to go buy a geographically restricted market center with 160 licenses and pay 140 grand for the privilege of doing it. So I was in. The first thing I did was I immediately called Kyle Whistle, one of my biggest competitors in San Diego County. He ran his own independent brokerage, and I immediately called him. I said, Kyle, I'm looking at something. You and I need to go have lunch. And here's what I know about the brokerage business. And granted, I've never owned a brokerage. I've always ran a team, or at least I have for many years now. But something I know about the brokerage business is that the money is not in brokering the deal. Okay, like the actual act of clearing the deal, that's not where the money is. It can be. You know, it is for EXP, but you're going to need many thousands of agents to make that scale work. Independent brokerages with 20 agents locally, 30 agents, 40 agents, 100 agents, there is no money in the brokering of the deal. The money is in getting buyers and sellers to work with you. Okay, the, the mechanics and compliance of just simply brokering the deal, financial advisors refer to that as the clearing house. Those are just mechanics, okay? That's not why anyone's working with us. So here's this guy, a competitor of mine, he runs an independent brokerage, and I know he's not making a dime on the brokerage side, though money he's making is because of his team sales. And so I called, and I, we set up lunch. I laid out what I was looking at and how I was looking at it. In the course of having lunch, he said he'd been exploring the same thing. He'd become aware of the model. He would started to explore how can he undo himself of what he completely dislikes, which is compliance, audits, talking to the Department of Real Estate about nonsense, lawsuits, letters, all that crap. How can he undo himself of that and get back and, and repurpose all that time to dollar productive activity? He just never found a platform that would make sense for him to do it. But he, he, he was actually in the process of exploring EXP. By the end of that launch, we were both in. And we, uh, we basically went from there. But don't be afraid to talk to your biggest competitor. They could become your biggest ally.